morning, everybody. Out in the greenhouse. Now, I have a lot of critics on my channel, which is understandable, as people don't think a little lawnmower wheel with some magnets is going to restore batteries. I understand that fully. But, you can say no, 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 no all you want. It isn't going to change a thing. So, I am going to set my uh, camera down, and we're going to check the status of this battery. I'm going to shut it off and let it rest all day again. And then if it's good, I'm going to put it into use running the big motor inside the house. So, um, by the way, that's a spoiler alert. Nobody knows that yet. Okay, anyway. So, I, uh, I'm going to set my camera down. Okay, now, voltage with the run Bedini motor running. Short the leads together. Voltage with the Bedini motor running. We have 13.50 volts. I'm going to disconnect the power from the Bedini. I'm going to slow down down with my hand. No more running. But the battery is still connected up here, so I'm going to use that for convenient terminals. Bedini, no more running. 13.054. It's going to settle down. We'll come back. This battery is going to rest for a while now, a couple hours minimum. This battery is going to rest and then we'll come back and see where it stands. Okay, And if it's good, then I'm going to use it to power something. And then I'll put it back on the Bedini and we'll cycle it a few times and we'll see what happens here. Okay, So, that's that. Actually, I decided next in line, you're not going to be able to see this You'll have to trust me on this one. Maybe I'll pick up the camera and show you. Maybe if I can do this one-handed. I'm not sure. All right. Turn on the meter helps. I've plugged this one in. I'm checking the terminals on the Bedini because it's convenient. Wait, 12.22? That's odd. Because here, when I press the battery status, it says empty. Okay, that's fine. 12.22. I can accept that. That shows empty on the meter. So, 12.22. Good. All right, I'm going to fire up the Bedini, and I want to show you, see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to hold the leads on here, so you can see this is 12.22. Now, this doesn't take charge anymore. Um, no matter what I do, it won't stay charged with the conventional charger. It always, ah, oh, come on. Yeah, it's not going to happen. You'll have to trust me, all right? It doesn't stay charged anymore with a conventional charger. No matter what, what I do, it doesn't come up. It always says low, red light. So I'm going to fire this up, give the wheel a spin, all right, tune this down, little light is flashing, let that come up to speed, adjust it so it's barely flashing, this will come up with time, we'll let this run a few days until it's restored. So anyway, it's always showed here empty on the status indicator. When you press battery status, it's never come up even after full charging for hours and hours and hours and hours. It never takes a charge anymore. So we're going to do the same thing with this. Alright? And I'm going to take this other one in the house, I'm going to clean it up and give it a wipe down. And we'll put it into service and put some load on it today after resting a few hours. So, that'll run. I'm going to keep this little guy, this old guy running got a lot of batteries keep them going all right guys there's the battery that was dead and I am pulling power out of it. it's just above 12 volts now okay it is being used I've got uh, half an amp of power being pulled out of it this is if you follow the wires going to this clip which goes up and into the cigarette lighter output okay we'll follow that down again so you can follow that is this clip which goes into the ammeter and then goes on out into my pulse motor which I'm not ready to show you because I'm behind on those videos um, because some people didn't want to see it so I'm feeding it out slowly but just understand there's half an amp being pulled out of this 
battery and I've been running it for a, well, actually a little while now and work is being done okay this battery is performing work I don't expect it to sustain this for very long because it was zero volts not too long ago so uh, it's gonna be I'm gonna run it down for a while using this um, running this motor by the way two batteries are being charged on the output of this device that is being run by this battery at this time so this is the battery that was dead restored on the Bedini motor and is now powering a device which is desulfating two other batteries so how cool is that the battery that was sulfated and has been saved is desulfating being used to power the device which is desulfating two more batteries that's cool anyway so there's that it's performing work um, this is what I did today guys and you will see all of that in the video series for those who are interested in seeing the pulse motor generator being built so unless something else comes up that's pretty much it everybody I just did normal homestead chores and activities and um, worked on this device pumped out two videos from YouTube today which was five hours of work and uh, now it's time to clean the house because Melanie wants the house back so talk to you guys later try from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project